Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is week 10 of the 16 week trading course for taking you from wherever you currently are to being a profitable trader. If you haven't seen the rest of the nine videos produced on the channel, go and watch them now because everything that we're gonna be doing relates to those nine videos. I really, really do encourage you if you have not seen the rest of the series or rest of the course, go and watch those first and then come back to this video and watch again. In today's video, we're gonna be going over risk management. This is something that a lot of people do talk about but still struggle with. Um, and I know that there's a lot of people that know the importance of risk management, but still they'll, they'll do it for a few trades and then they'll go back and fail. Risk management is crucial for having emotionless trading and ensuring that you trade stress-free. And in terms of trading stress-free, your mental health is so, so important to your trading. And it is really, really closely entwined with risk management. I think it's probably closer related to risk management than a lot of people originally think because if you're risking too much per trade, there's a tendency that you're going to be checking it throughout the day. You'll be, you know, thinking about that trade throughout the day. And then you're also going to be, you know, caring if it wins or loses that individual trade, etc, etc, right? It, you're, you're worrying about this trade when you really shouldn't be. So by the end of this video, I'm hoping that you're going to have a different perspective on risk management and be able to follow a risk management plan that is structured and suited to your own trading style, trading psychology, and also the lifestyle that you'd want to have. Um, because obviously you can risk more, but you're going to get a different reward out of that as well. So we're going to cover all of that in today's video. If you are enjoying this series where I take you from nothing to profitable, make sure to let me know down in the comments down below. It is really, really amazing to see all the comments that are flying in talking about how this is helping them. So honestly, it is amazing to see that. It really does keep me going. And um, yeah, let's get into the video. So really, it really is as simple as this. You have two options. You have high risk or you have low risk. You can choose whichever one you want. High risk, you gain high reward. Low risk, low reward. Okay, keep it as simple as possible. I know there's going to be some of you that are thinking, well, this guy is trading, uh, I don't know, something similar to like ICT, for example. You, you, you're placing a tiny little trade on, but you've got a 50 to 1, you've got 100 to 1, 200 to 1, and you're making all this money on top of it. Let's ignore that for the time being and keep it super, super simple. You have high risk, high reward. You have low risk, low reward. Now, whichever one you want to go for, that is completely up to you. But don't just immediately go for high high reward because the problem with high reward is you will blow up if you're not a very, very good trader because ultimately you're going to have losers. And if your win rate is not high enough, if your strategy is not defined for high risk, if your psychology is not defined for high risk, you will blow up. I don't care what you think. If you're trading high reward, high risk, and you're not prepared for it with a strategy and psychology and mental health, it is going to backfire, okay? So for 95% of traders, I would say go low risk. What do I mean by low risk? That is down to you. I can't give you a, uh, I can give you a range. So I would say anywhere between you know, 0.1 to 0.75%, I would kind of say is low risk. Um, and anything above that is kind of medium. Anything above kind of 3%, I would say is high, high risk. So pick what you want, pick the range that you want to be in. Um, but do not think about the actual reward. Think about your psychology first. Which risk management tolerance do you sit in? Okay, do you sit in low risk, medium, or high? Now, please start off with low, okay? If you're trading low, it's going well, you're sticking to your plan, maybe bump it up. But don't start with high risk because all it's going to do is it's going to compound and the risk is just going to get more and more and more until you just blow up. So in terms of high risk, and the reason why I say most traders should go low risk is because with the high risk, 
for the majority of traders, it's going to be very, very stressful. And whenever you are stressed when you're trading, it really does not go well together. And at the end of the day, your mental health is a lot more important because if you're trading high risk on a thousand pounds, for example, and you make two thousand pounds, but you know, the, by the time you've made that two thousand, however long it takes, by the time you've made that two thousand pounds and you've doubled your account, which is insane anyway, but you've doubled your account, your mental health has taken a massive hit and now you can't trade anymore because you can't sleep. You can't even do anything without, you know, problems occurring. You've got health problems now and all the rest of it. Um, all down to the stress levels occurred whilst trading high risk because you wanted the money fast. And I know that ICT talks about the mental health that he's had during trading. Essentially, if you are risking a lot and you're putting that stress on yourself, what was it worth, right? What was that stress worth? A thousand pounds. So you've now ruined your mental health. You can't trade anymore. And all of that for a thousand pounds is not worth it, okay? Even if you're trading 5,000, 10,000, it's not worth it over the lifespan of trading low risk that you could have had. And for example, if you just make 10% a year, or even 15, 20% a year, compound that over 50 years, it is a lot of money. I don't care how much you put in, I don't care how much you put in. If you just put in regular payments of, it could be even 20 quid. I put an example of it previously on the channel. If you put 20 quid in and you do that per month and you compound that with 15% over 50 years, it is an unbelievable amount of money. I'm not gonna be giving you that example because it is in a previous video. If you do wanna find out, just search on Google, compound interest calculator, compound return calculator, Go on to there and just put in some really, really low numbers. £20 a month, 15% a year, 50 years and see what it spits out. I guarantee you're going to be shocked because it really, really is amazing. So please go to the low risk side. Do not go to the high risk. I know I'm kind of going on this quite a lot, but it is really, really important, not just for the returns that you're going to make on the trading account, but your mental health as well. And once you reach... A certain amount of winners or losers depending on the win rate of your strategy obviously you then stop trading so cap the amount of trades you can take cap the amount that you can risk and cap the amount that you're actually going to trade each month so have a goal each month and if you reach that goal you stop trading okay i know that it's going to be tempting to carry on trading but you've done what you set out to do you've made the percentage slash money that you are intending to make once you've hit that you know, you're done. Go relaxed, go spend time with family, enjoy yourself, do whatever you want to do, but do not trade, right? You've put the work in. It's got, it's been a successful month. Don't ruin it because if you carry on trading, let's say by the 20th uh, of whatever month you make your percentage and then you carry on trading because you want to make more and you get greedy, you end up losing it and you're back down to where you started you're going to be gutted. It's going to suck. So do not do it. If you hit your goal, bang, done. Okay. So there are three little rules you can implement into your trading super, super fast. Change it if you want to. I do suggest that you change it, but you know, if you want to just copy it, go ahead. Um, it's a very, very basic plan. Obviously there's a lot more that you can do scaling in, scaling out of position, stop loss movement, um, hedging. There's a lot that you can do, but Personally, I am a fan of simplicity. I do not want to be stressed about my trading. I want to enter the trade, leave it alone, done. Move on to the next thing and have rules in place that enable me to trade stress-free. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, put it in the comments down below, hit the like button and let me know if there's anything you want me to improve on. I know that, you know, I'm always trying to improve and trying to improve the quality of these videos. So let me know down in the comments below if you have any advice for me. Have an amazing day and remember traders, trade happy.